We're following some breaking news related to the war in Ukraine. Russia's Ministry of Defense says one of its military planes was shot down near the border of Ukraine, and they say it was carrying dozens of Ukrainian prisoners of war. This video, posted by a Telegram account linked to Russian security services, appears to show that plane hurtling to the ground and then, as you just saw, exploding into a fireball. NBC News reporter Matt Bodner is following all of this for us. Matt, what do we know about the crash? It sounds like the Russians are saying one thing and the Ukrainians are saying something else. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, well, that is exactly the situation as ever with this war. But uh, today is a little bit of an interesting development in that uh, we have such a, I think, a, a, a differing account of what happened here. The Russians uh, claiming that Ukraine shot down this plane that had its own people aboard, people that Ukraine was expecting, according to the Russians, to receive back today. Uh, now, we have heard from the Ukrainians. They have said that they did not know uh, and still do not know what was on that plane. They're obviously encouraging everyone to to refrain from accepting Russia's narrative on this at face value. Uh, and and that is, of course, uh, good advice. We've seen nothing from the Russians that really backs up their claims. There is that uh, still that singular video uh, that you mentioned of the plane crashing. We have not yet seen anything else verifiable from a crash site. So this is all uh, um, interesting things to know in the modern age when when we see so many terrible image, images very quickly from any given plane crash. I think it's important to remember this is a war zone and narrative control is a key focus, especially uh, of the Russians. So I think that what we're seeing here is, the, is, is in a vacuum of verifiable information. The Kremlin is, is sticking to a core narrative here that we've seen every time Ukraine has struck inside of Russia, that being that the Kyiv regime is a terrorist state attacking civilians and the Russian government is essentially doing good work uh, by waging war against them. Kate? All right, Matt Bodner, day 700 of this war. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.